These days, cameras are omnipresent, especially at important moments in our lives. They capture images of our holidays, parties, or just everyday experiences. But their internal mechanics can, with use, become fragile and wear out. Can we imagine a future where cameras will no longer need optical mechanics and will therefore be more resistant to the ravages of time, more resistant to shocks, and perhaps there will not even be a need for a tripod anymore? The answer could be these liquid lenses, a revolutionary optical device invented in 1995 by French physicist turned entrepreneur Bruno Berge in Lyon. They can be adjusted electronically instead of mechanically to find the focal point. In the lens we have two liquids which won't mix like oil and water. By putting an electric current through it the shape changes, so the curve of the lens formed by these liquids changes. It's a bit like in the eye. There are tiny muscles which pull on the crystalline lens to change the refraction. So this allows a camera, inside of which is a little liquid lens like I just showed you, without any moving parts or motor or having a moving lens like in a conventional camera for example, which makes it possible to focus very accurately, rapidly and in a way which is robust and stable. For the moment, lenses like this are only used in the industrial sector, for example for reading barcodes or in security cameras. But in the future it's hoped that they could be used in the medical sector, for example in ophthalmology, and even in normal cameras, like the ones we take on holiday and to parties. Here, a researcher demonstrates that with a liquid lens you can focus perfectly on an object, in this case some flowers, just by pressing a button. The lens doesn't move, it just automatically explores the different positions of the fluids inside it and in a fraction of a second finds the optimal one. The lens also works as an image stabilizer. On a moving surface, the liquid lens can counterbalance the movement and make the picture stable by using a little gyroscope to guide the movement of the liquid inside the lens. Eventually, this could make tripods obsolete. A liquid lens can also modify the trajectory of a laser beam. Normally, it's orientated by mirrors moved by mechanical engines, but a liquid lens can do everything electronically without any movement. The inventor, Bruno Berge, has been nominated for a European Inventor Award organised by the European Patent Office, which will be held on the 28th of May in Amsterdam. How did you get this idea for these lenses? The idea came to me when I was working on liquids, on changing shapes of liquids with electrical currents. And at first I carried out various experiments which didn't work. When I started experimenting with the liquid lens, I didn't think it would work very well. But in fact it works very well indeed, much better than I thought. And that's been the driving force. How do you feel about being an inventor? For me what's important is constructing an experiment and then the moment when you switch it on after you've been preparing for three months or six months, that moment is extraordinary. The moment you hit the button and turn it on.